Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Today is Mindful Monday. Can you believe it? The fourth Mindful Monday that I am doing with you and that you are joining me. So for those of you who are tuning in first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Sosan. I'm a dietitian, certified diabetes educator, as well as the director of training. Welcome to Minus Minus. <laughs> Welcome to Mindful Monday. How is everyone doing? Okay, so let me check to see who's on Facebook. Okay, come and say hi to me. And if you have been tuning in every Monday, please say hi and say, I've been tuning in. Coming from where? I would love to hear from you. So, 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 let me see, let me see. Mindful Monday. Let me see, let me see. TLS. Yes. Yes, I see myself. <laughs> okay. I see. Oh, hi, Jackie. You have been on every Monday. Hello. Hello, Julie. Hello, Tanya. Hello. Ran oh, hello, Taru. Hello, Randy. Hello, Jamie. Hello, everyone. How is your weekend so far? Do you have an amazing weekend? How is it? Why can't I hear you? Is everybody able to hear me? I just want to make sure. <laughs> Canada represent. <laughs> Friday, it will be Florida. Okay, three weeks and loving it. Me too. Three weeks, I'm loving. I'm so I'm so grateful to be able to share these Mindful Monday with all of you. And as I'm talking, you can see I'm like sweating right here because I actually just did a crazy hit workout this morning and I'm still sweating from it. Can you believe it? <laughs> okay. I'm from Atlantic City. I have been on every Monday. Okay, thank you, Linda. Thank you for joining us. I just want to make sure everyone is able to hear me. Let me see. Okay, everyone's able to hear me. Amazing weekend of healthy eating. That's what I like to hear. Hello, Wendy. How are you? So, Mindful Monday. Today, you know how I like to go from alphabet to alphabet. <laughs> Guess what kind of alphabet I'm talking about today. Today, I'm going to talk about going from motivation to momentum. So the 2M, not the M&M &M that you love, but the M&M &M that I love, which is motivation to momentum. So let, let us start, okay? Whenever we are about to embark in a new, <clears throat> in a new journey, what happened? We're so excited. We want to get things going, like that feeling, okay? That is what we call it. We're motivated to make changes. Just kind of go back three weeks ago. Now we're going to the fourth week. Imagine yourself when you start to embark on this 28 days of weight loss. What were you feeling at that time? You were excited. You said 2021 will be a new year for me. I cannot wait to be on, embark on this journey with my friends, with my partners, with my family, and with my TOS family right here. Weren't you thinking that way? Then we come on to three and a half weeks, going to fourth week. And the next thing is you're asking yourself, do you still have the same motivation? And I and I and I wouldn't be surprised if some of you say, you know what, the motivation that I felt on Jerry first or second or third kind of dwindled down a little bit. And guess what? It's totally, totally normal. Like I said before, I work with thousands and thousands of clients, and it's not like I always tell people the easiest part of any program, the easiest, easiest part is to start. The hardest part of any program is to continue in maintaining it. Another M. <laughs> Why? It's because when we're motivated, we're excited, we're willing to go do something different. Remember the first three C that I talk about? Change, commitment, and what? Consistency. So we, so when you were motivated to change, you did the change. Now the second two C that I was talking about really care for to today's topic, which is how to lead from motivation to momentum, okay? If you are like, I used to be a big uh, snowboarder. I love snowboarding. I know I don't want to look like it, but I love snowboarding. And with snowboarding is when you are going snowboarding and you see this hill going upward, you know, okay? You know for a fact, if you know snow, is that when you hit that kind of a little bit going up, where it's before it goes down again, you need to build that momentum so that it accelerate you forward so that you can continue on that. 
Isn't that true? But if I saw that kind of going, uh, the, the, if, if I see that kind of, uh, kind of a little hilly going upward and I slow down, guess what happened? I could not accelerate and pick it up again. And once I hit that little hill right there, I completely do a full stop and I could not continue the momentum on. That is exactly how the weight loss journey is is that when we start off, we are excited, we have energy, we just go and go, and we're having so much fun. But after, in the middle of the day, we start to get tired. And when we start to see that hill and we decide to kind of stop a little bit, not only we are not stopping, we're just going backwards sometimes. So in order to propel forward, we actually need to charge, like charge yourself, like, like almost like putting on a turbo, and zoom forward. And once you hit that momentum, the momentum will pick up its pace and everything starts to glide very easily. And this is why we often say weight loss is not linear. It's up and down, up and down. The easy part, everybody can ride the down. Nobody, nobody if you're a good skier or a good snowboarder, everybody can go down. No problem. It's the going up. It's when you go up, what do you do? And this is why I want to say motivation is only a feeling. It only lasted so long. The only way for you to propel forward is to create that momentum. And how do you create momentum? It's what consistency and commitment. And I want to say that a lot of time is we want, um, when we're focused and when we go through the, what we call a lot of yo-yo dieting, a lot of people very focused on the result. I actually want to change your feelings and stop focusing on result. Result will happen if you stay on the course. It's just natural. Like if I'm continuing driving it, driving on the road, right? And if I am heading east, eventually I will hit a certain destination, whether I'm going slow or fast. Isn't it true? My most important thing is staying on the road and not going sideways, right? And if I do go sideways, just get myself back on track. And if I am consistent, I might be driving very slow. I still get there. But if I am going on this windy road, I, I, I went out focus, I went back, I went to somewhere else, will I ever get to my destination? Never. And this is why people need to have that consistency. And the moment of the, the, what we call the motivation help you get started. But the consistency and commitment help you continue on to build that momentum and how you built the, once you built the momentum, the result will let you want to stay in there. That's what I want you to see. And that's why many people fail in weight loss when they do the, the, a lot of the weight loss program out there is that they fail to address the, mind, the, the mindset that we go through because they make it sound like weight loss is linear. If you continue, it will get easier. It doesn't get easier because the, 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 motive, the, uh, the early excitement does does we not, right? It's, just, it's, it's human nature. If, I, if I'm going on vacation, the first few days is filled with excitement. After a month or two, that place is not that exciting anymore, right? It's, it's just human nature. So we cannot rely on feeling. We need, to, we need to rely on, not even on results at the beginning because you're not going to see the result. Guess what you need to rely on? Your commitment. Your commitment to the course. You ask yourself at the beginning, why are you committing to this journey? What does this journey bring in you? Is this bringing you health? Is it helping you to lose the excess fat? Is it helping you to reduce your risk of chronic diseases? Is it helping you to feeling better? Is it helping you to have more energy? Is it helping you so that you can play with your grandchild without feeling tired? Is it helping you to age gracefully? What is it? Okay, so you or your focus should be committing to your goal. It's commitment, not committing to the result. Because you know why? Because when you don't see result, guess what we do? We said, it's not working. It's the same thing again. Then you go back. But the worst thing is I always say to my client, I don't want you to beat yourself. Because when you don't see result, the first person you beat is yourself. You said, you see, so then you did it again. You never pass, you, you never go make it. And I hated that. I hated that so much with my clients and I wanted to get them out of that mindset. And this is why I talked to my clients that don't focus on results because you know, at the beginning you might be losing pounds like so fast, you're losing inches, you're seeing results. Then eventually you say, hey, it's slowing down a lot. 
it's normal. Your body's adjusting to it, right? It's almost like, it's almost, the, again, go back to snowboarding. The first time, wow, this is so much fun. Eventually, you need to pick up more skills so that you can go on a more challenging hill, isn't it? The beginner hill or the bunny hill, it's always easier. That's what they call the bunny hill. It's the black diamond is what makes it challenging, right? And it takes practice so that you have the confidence to go on that uh, black diamond. And you don't need to be on the black diamond to say you succeed. But what you need to go have is progressing forward, taking your, making that commitment that every day I am going to show up for myself. Every day I'm going to show up for me. Okay. And that's why I want you to focus not on the result, but on your commitment to this journey. Because when you commit to this journey, you're consistent on a daily basis to this journey. And when you're consistent to this journey and making the changes that's needed, guess what happened? You start to see the result. You start to build the momentum and you propel forward. And next thing you know, you start to notice changes in your body. You start to notice the changes in your mindset. You start to notice the changes in your energy level. You start to notice the changes in your mood. This is the beauty of it. So that's why I really want to talk about how do we do that? It's tracking, tracking your result. And that's why Monday, we make it Mindful Monday, happen to be Mindful Monday, is that we track it. What happened to your whole week? What do you do? What did you do well? What did you not do well? It's normal. No one does well every single day, even myself. There are days I didn't do too well. It's okay. It's a part of learning process, but don't beat yourself. So do a, so that's why if you never had a chance, download our, um, our health journal, right? Our online now is accessible for all. It's free. Download, go to the tracking sheet. Take those sheets and focus on a daily basis. What can I do? Did I do this? Did I do this? Did I have my water? Did I have my vegetable? Did I have my quality of protein? Did I take my supplement? If your answer is check, 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 you are building that momentum. You are creating that consistency. And at the end of that week, you are doing a reflection of that week. What did I do well that I said before? What can I improve for next week? I always do that for myself. Like it's, 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 a, it's a habit that I have created. And because every Sunday, like Sunday is a very um, special day for me. Special day for me for two reasons. Number one is I share with you that every Sunday I do grocery shopping and meal prep because that helped me start my week right where I felt I'm prepared to deal with what needs to be done because I got all my food done already feeding my, my family as well as myself. Second is what I do is I do a reflection. I ask myself this past week, what did I do well? Okay, from my work perspective, okay? What can I improve? For example, let me give you a, a insider of my story. So, <clears throat> so this past week, I noticed that my daughter is playing piano and because of online learning, I noticed that her, um, she's not as on top of things because it's not the same having a teacher teaching her side by side. So I reflected, I sat with her in the in her music class, I realized she wasn't play, able to play as well. And that affects her confidence. And when it affects her confidence, she give up completely. So I know this is a mother that I need to come in to intervene and help her. So what can I help her? Instead of saying practice, 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 I'm going to what? Every single day, I tell her, let's do for 10 minutes every day. 10 minutes every day. It's consistency. Because once she built that consistency in 10 minutes every day, guess what she does? She becomes better at practicing. When she's better at practicing and she's able to do it, she builds what? Her confidence again. And she believes in herself again, right? So I'm not going to say, hey, let's, let, let's do an hour. It's not going to happen. Take it one step at a time. And that is only happened on a Sunday when I reflect because Sunday is my, is my day for myself, my day for my family, my day for planning for this week ahead. So now that I know about that, I know I'm going to spend 15 minutes. I talked to her already so that she mentally know that every day mommy going to talk to her for 15 minutes and we're going to play piano together. Okay. Just for practice, small. I didn't ask for a lot. I asked for 15 minutes and she agreed to it. So I put in my calendar 15 minutes at such time of such day, like every day with time to practice with her. 
So I want you to do the same thing. Ask yourself this past week, what do you do well? What can you improve? Okay. Sometimes it's the way you use your word. Because a lot of people would like to beat us. Oh, I, 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 I didn't do well. I, I suck at this. Don't use those words. Okay. You said that, okay, I didn't do that well in this area. What can I improve on it? Think more proactively. Think more positively. I want you to use these words for yourself. So let me summarize what we go and talk, what we talk about so far is motivation is only a feeling and a feeling doesn't last. The only thing lasts is your consistent action and your commitment to your journey at the beginning. Ask yourself every day, why are you committed to your health this year? Why are you committed to this journey? And taking consistent small action on a daily basis. And as you start doing that, you build the momentum again to hit that and on your way going. So I tell people when you lose weight, this is how it is. I said it's up and down. Literally, this is how it looked like when I work with my clients. You At the beginning, your weight comes down. <clears throat> then we have that plateau. Plateau is where most people falter and say, hey, it's not working anymore. No, it's not it's not working anymore. Your body is trying to figure out, is this the new, this is the new lifestyle you want? If it is, okay, let's continue on that. But let's go when you are at that plateau that most people don't see a lot of changes. They see some, but not the changes that they wanted. What did they do? They said, ah, oh, it's not working. I'm going back. I want to say, stay there, stay consistent, stay committed, okay? Focus on why you're doing it. Continue and believe that it works because it works for so many people. And as you start working, working, you will hit that momentum. When you hit that momentum, guess what? You will have another plateau. That's part of it. When you hit that, you know this time, it's going to be there. You expected it, you're not gonna be surprised. You're not gonna feel defeated. You're not gonna feel it's not working. You're not going to beat yourself. You just know that you just stay on your course and wait for it to hit that momentum because of the consistency and you hit another momentum. So truthfully, it's actually, weight loss is actually this. It's not this. And if you're expecting this, you're beating yourself because it's not going to happen that way, okay? I see enough clients to tell you it doesn't happen that way. So when I lost my pregnancy weight, I knew I was going to do the same thing. I prepare myself for it. So when I have those days, yes, it doesn't feel good. You just say, well, not two weeks ago or a month ago, I was doing so well. I, I see results. It's okay. I believe that with time, you will see the result. And I stay on the course. I stay with the TLS program. And now I'm, 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 I, I'm maintaining it. It's, I couldn't go back because it's part of my lifestyle right now. And last but not least, I really want to share is that ask yourself, ask yourself, it's a very, very key question, is that if you want to change who you are, which we talk about the identity, have you truly changed your identity? Have you truly had a conversation with yourself? Whenever I had those times where I felt defeated, I felt tired, I just not motivated, I asked myself, what does a successful person will do? What does a um, mother who wants to have a loving relationship with her daughter will do? And I act upon that. Instead of asking, what can I do? I ask myself, what does that person will do? And I model that. Okay, so anything, I, honestly, in the end, it's modeling behavior. We're all, you know, weight loss, I tell people the diet is the, the, the eating part is actually the easy part. The hardest part is the mindset. If you made up your mind 80%, the 20% is really the eating habits. Because a lot of time when you eat that food, it's more mindset than the actual physical of eating. It is. So if you can actually overcome that mindset, you actually win 80% already. The 20% is just the actual doing it. Same as exercise. People say, oh, it's so hard. It's the mindset. You haven't even tried it. Anyhow, I want to end with motivation to momentum means that you need to be consistent 
and committed to your action. And the best way to do so is using your tracking sheet and measure and measure and measure and don't beat yourself and ask yourself, who will you want to be and how should you act to be that person? Thank you very much. And I will see you next Monday. Bye-bye, everyone.